What does it mean to be integrated with the group in the preparation? And when is the group ready for the reception of the Torah? To be integrated with the group in the preparation means that I accept everyone, see everyone is my partner, inseparable, 100% in everything that, that there is in them, as a partner on, along for the way, as if we are one. Say so his internality and my internality, his desires and my, are my desires, his plans and are my plans. Everything that he has in life as if it's all accumulated, it's all gathered into one person instead of several. Let's bring them all together and see what the results. If I come to feel that, it is enough to receive within that sensation, within that plea, to receive the sensation of the unity. The sensation of the unity brings to the sensation of the filling. Because the filling, the light, created the kli, the one kli. And if we come to that one kli, even to the smallest extent, then we feel the light in it, which created and sustains it. That's it. Yes? Question from Israel. With respect to what should I see myself as higher or lower? With respect to everything in life, I should see myself as both. It's impossible that it's, I discern that I'm higher than something or with, as lower with respect to something else. Both. Look at how we relate to our children. I'm greater than them, I'm smarter than them, I'm stronger than them, and I can control them, right? But love forces me to be smaller, dominated, controlled by them, and serving them. That's how we should relate to anything in life, to, in the group, in the friends, the dissemination, the creator, everyone. On the one hand, towards the Creator, I have to force Him, right? My son has defeated me. Why aren't you bringing it to me? I, I demand of you, give me the light that reforms you, know, correct me. I have to ask of it. It's raising a man. Raising one is a demand. They're, they're pleased they're in, and, and requests, but it's actually a demand if I'm turning to Him. So it's a demand. It says, you know, demand and receive reward. And at the same time, when I turn to him, I turn to him, you know, pleadingly, I uh, subdue myself, because by that I subdue my own will to receive, so to have a clea. So, in everything I have to see these two ends, in my behavior towards something, in my attitude towards the group, towards the friends, towards the group, I have to work in it as if everything that happens in a group depends on me, and nothing is up to them. So by that, I diminish them. I'm the greatest, right? On the other hand, once I've made all of my efforts, I have to say it's all up to them. I'm the smallest. They have to give to me. They have to affect me have to give to me. Yes. A question from the United States. If everyone is one in spirituality, who can we give? We don't have to imagine the last state. That he is one in his name one, and that there's no difference between him and the Creator, and everything is in wondrous unity. He should see these things as the goal. 
To whom does it give? To others. But afterwards he discovers that he and the others are the same. When he discovers that they are the same, he will understand that this giving was given to him so as to achieve unity and that there is really no one to give to. If I connect with the Creator inseparably, then how can I love Him? So, love Him as I love myself. What did I come back to? So again, we're not talking about these lofty things that appear in unity because we can't understand even this situation because there you have two ends of nature, ego egoistic and altruistic, connect and one sustains the other, as Palasalam says. That the sins and the mistakes that we do during the concealment are the ones that give us the reward and punishment and eternal love afterwards. And we don't understand that and cannot therefore picture the r have the right spiritual picture. That's so sublime, yes, the unity of the Creator. Yes, that the Israel Torah and the Creator are one. We should now picture, bestow upon the giver. So it's the Creator, nature, whom do I give? To which nature do I give? What? I have to bow to trees? What? I give to trees? What is it about? Giving means appreciating, bestowing. Appreciating a certain quality means to give to it. Appreciating, it. appreciating a certain quality in such a way that you want it to control you, that's called bestowing. Bringing that certain quality closer to you means giving it. Bestowing. To make it control you. Why is it called giving? Because it forces you to uphold, so to speak, what exists within that quality to, to have it dominate you. More? 